fun and games indeed. People, look here. We're back going down to the actual trap map and having a look, see if there's any paw prints. Now, I've not been, since I put it up on the 18th of March, I think it was around about four o'clock, I think it was. And then we knit back, but obviously that was just to reload the trap. Um, just found it a bit difficult to just keep our eye on the camera and watch them going. But it's quite an achievement get down there. Um, we've not actually been back to see if there's any paw prints, but the reason I've come back is for that in itself and to see if there's anything on the camera because we've not uh, been back up here since the 1st of April and there actually is some paw prints or deer marks or something yeah there's something there isn't there so it does actually what do you think that looks like? deer you think? yeah <clears throat> yeah um, what about that one there? Yeah, it's just think? yeah, it's just deer that. We have actually got some results, to be honest. Well, hello, how are we doing? Long time, no see, but yeah, we've all been busy, all been busy. Um, but um, I know I've not posted for a while, but um, I wanted to get all the work kind of schedule stuff and I'll put the lakes boxed off, which I've done uh, until next year. So um, if you love my channel or you like my channel, um, you should see a bit more of me. Uh, so I do apologize. But also as well, I'd just like to say that it's been a long time because I've had a little bit of an issue with the computer. Now, it's a bit of an oldish computer um so and i've had a bit of problems as well on that way of the sd card reader now this is like a test today so if you see me like you see me now it's good because what's been happening is when we went down to Cannot chase and uh we did some uh oh roddlesworth woods when you probably saw mix when i went over with him i did one as well to have a look at you know whatever was moving behind the tree now when i got the roddlesworth woods uh, on the sd card and can it chase i couldn't get in to edit it the only way i can get in to edit it is format it so i couldn't format it because obviously it would lose all the actual you know the footage so that's the problem for that really so uh yeah i know it's been a bit of a a break from seeing me but stick with me um and uh i'll try and work things out i mean like i said this is a test because i don't know if it's this camera what's corrupting the card we don't know at the moment um mick can't you know i've asked mick and he can't really understand it um so this is just a bit of a test so if you do see me it's good news it means that you know maybe it's the sd card itself i don't know but until i get back home um we don't know what's causing the problem if there is a problem or i'm doing something wrong i don't know but uh yeah but anyway enough of all that but that's where i've been i've been working and we've had problems with you know the sd card the computer so um fingers crossed we'll get things right and get things on the roll again um so where were we today basically we've got um another camera to put up now um i put the first one up at uh esham um not a lot of people um have to to it so um another idea i had in my head was to come over and where the actual cat mat cam was we were doing the footage um, to put another camera up there. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, put another, try and wreck it, um, another point out so as you can watch um, the actual cat, um, fingers crossed, or animals 
24 uh, 7 so that's what we're called doing so uh, like I say we're over at back end of river and I'm um, here with Mick Mick's over there he's just doing you a little bit of footage so uh, that's what we're up to at the moment so I'll hop over this fence and I'll see you on the other side so yeah we decided to have a look first look for a decent tree and then go back hopefully they've gone hello again right Lee's a bit sad Mick's a bit sad um, he's just doing a running commentary over there about um, people leaving rubbish and just behind me over here is a smouldering fire um, it's just unbelievable people like this why they do it I don't know it's just a selfish world we live in and you know if you're bringing stuff to live on take your rubbish Look home it's that. simple unbelievable. it's unbelievable the people who just leave stuff knocking about I mean it's not just happening here it's happening in the Lake District it's just unbelievable it's happening all over but still over there Campfire still smouldering. It's just unbelievable what they're like. That unbelievable. Not just cans, but broken bottles. Deer come round here or anything, it's just oh, drives me round the bend. Drives me round the bend. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on about it, but let's get on with the job in hand. See you in a bit. That's nature for you, isn't it? Right, okay. Right, yeah, me and Mick are a bit blown away really because we've just, well, you've just probably seen me uh, and Mick kind of a bit scratching our heads um, up at the top. Um, we couldn't find it which was only like six or seven months ago like Mick says and then it was just like a wooden frame with soil on it but now it's <laughs> you can see the actual there you go the budgie cage which we I call it which we're going to reload in a minute with chicken and uh, the actual framework is still here but look at the state how far it's grown over that's unbelievable. It's four months ago. He's just looked back and it's four months ago. It was clear. My God. So really, that's not going to work. It's not long time. So really, it's a good job we're putting a camera up. Unless you come back. Um, I mean, no, it would do because everything at this time of year stops growing. So from July to October, it's just grown over. That's unbelievable, that. Um, the only way you could do it is come back say, every two to three weeks and clear it and keep doing that. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's that's nature. That's, that's nature for you too, flipping out. Right, okay. Right, well, let's do what we're doing. What I'm trying to do is actually, um, well, <laughs> we can't can we all we can do really is forget the mat trap at the moment and why just put the camera up why don't we find an area where it's not going to be covered over like that because if you put it up there facing down these branches might be in way and we might not see anything coming to that so you need it out in the open so maybe put it on the opposite side where this this river goes into, it's two that goes into Yeah, water. yeah, it does, yeah. Now, it's got two ways of getting down here then. Or two ways of go, going, but only one way where it can come from or go to. So we have one, a camera up there facing right down into the open bit, looking at that there. Uh, well, looking at um, your, your feeder closer over there. What, you mean move completely? Yeah, because... If you put a run up in the trees there, all this, you're not going to see anything. So if it comes down here, it eats and goes back that way, mm. um, you're not going to see anything no. happening here. But if you do it up there, facing down to yeah. where it's more or less open, and make sure what we can see, if we, if we can see the camera, because I mean, if you put it in one of the trees now, 
all this branch here sticking out yeah, uh, is going to be in the way. So we need it a big. We need a, an open space where we can actually see that bird through the front. Right. So what we'll do is we'll do that, but we'll just kind of for the time being until next year probably we'll scrap the cat mat trap for a. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then. Unless you're uh, going to put. Sorry. Unless you're going to put. Um, in one of these trees here, but not very good. Right, we'll okay. Take it from a tree up there. Right, okay. What we'll do is we'll move the trap. So next time you see, we will have moved the trap. We'll, we'll go and loop now where we can actually find another location. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Right, what we've done is, um, I've moved the actual uh, trap itself, I've moved it away from the actual mat itself, because the mat really, you can't use it, it's just well overgrown, and uh, if you're not back here within another couple of weeks, um, well, every couple of weeks to be honest, you're going to have to keep flattening it and flattening it and keep it clear. Um, so the way we've done it is we've come downstream, and I'm just going to load the actual trap here, the actual budgie cage, um, with some chicken this time, we've tried fish, um, we had nothing on the trail camera so we're just going to move the trap and try a bit of chicken, so our fingers crossed we might have a bit of, you know, uh, action at this end, but it's still actually over the actual river, the little stream, sorry, um, so fingers crossed that if it gets the whiff of the, you know, and the wind and the movement of the actual water that it will get a whiff of it and maybe it may come upstream if it's right down at the bottom I don't know, which just trial and error um, could come tonight, I don't know it might have moved, it might not even be in this area but Mick actually has just said that that smell that when he was in the car with uh, Cooch and H and they saw the cat and he was at it, stop, stop, stop and they jumped out, that smell it's just right over the top where Mick is over there. Um, he's just said to me, so that's very interesting in itself. And just over, a little bit further over, but lower down, you've got where the trap mat was, but just in front of it was some bones. Um, so it, we're around the area. We think we're right on the spot, really, to be fair. Um, but yeah, come on, let's just load the, uh, the chicken in and then see what happens but like I say you can watch it 24 7 if everything goes to uh, order um, you should be able to watch it 24 7 you can watch it whenever nine o'clock in the morning uh, you can watch it at three o'clock at night it's, you know what I mean it's, it's just one of them so uh, I'm just gonna drop it in now so I'm not get my hands full of chicken and then what we're gonna do then is actually go up and um, put um, a what's his name the camera up itself so we'll, we found a tree for a location which is belting so this should be very interesting I can smell that chicken already so we'll load the chicken um, and uh, yeah see what happens so the chicken's loaded there you go and I'm gonna put it up here where it's a little bit harder to get to you don't want it to find and sniff out the scent and the smell of the chicken. Um, I've lost the thing there. Where is it? It fell off. It fell off. Right, so what we'll do is um, Okay, people, that's where it is. 
just the um, so it's kind of easyish, but uh, it's not too easy to get to at ground level. Um, and I always take away your rubbish. Right, on to putting the camera up. See you in a bit. Right, right people, we found uh, the actual place we're putting the trap. You've seen that. So what we're going to do is next on the list is go and get the ladders. Then next on the list is find the tree. But we've already done that. So give me two minutes and I'll be back. <laughs> I bloody do for you lot, I'll tell you. Eh? A bit of be a big cat out here. In fact, the man, well, it's good really because we might catch a Bigfoot or a UFO. We've got all the space of the, you know, the universe up there as well. Anyway, I'm coming down. Well, I mean, we've probably got a cat already down there watching us doing this, <laughs> laughing its head off. Okay, people, as you can see, ladders, Lee, down, safe. Mick, Holding ladders, definitely safe. Yeah. So uh, let's see what happens. See you in a bit. Keep tuned in. I've not seen any other channels doing this, putting cameras up and thingies, is it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, come on. Let's go. <laughs> 